Hey everyone, it is Katie with Simple Life Pattern Company again, and I am here to go over our new projector pattern layout uh, for everyone to see. For those that didn't see, we have updated our tutorials, and our first pattern out is the Aria. It's our most popular pattern. Uh, normally I wouldn't show all this to everybody, but here we are. I want you guys to see this because it's amazing. Um, we have the aria pattern here we have all the rectangles everything that's on these cutting charts which you notice we have the imperial and the metric from our last video you learned that we added metric to our tutorials which is exciting we've also added size 14 and size 16 to our tutorials as well if you haven't seen that video uh, please check that out but right now we're going to focus on our projector files everything is on the fold including the skirt pieces. Uh, if you have a large projection area, this is great. You'll have your whole entire skirt piece, including your circle skirt, your sleeves, your flutters. Um, here we have, we'll zoom in just a little bit, you have your front bodice. Uh, on the fold, you have really thick lines, really big text. Because this file is massive, it doesn't look like the text is all that big, but it is. It's actually um, 0.6 inches, I believe. It's a really large font. Um, so you have everything on the fold or unfolded. These are mirrored, so they're not next to each other. Um, Aria actually has a full back option. Some people probably don't know that. Everyone probably just knows Aria because of the bow back version. So you can choose between your uh, full back version or your bow back version. If you're doing the bow back version, you will need uh, all these bow pieces. Um, or the panel, you'll need to choose a short or a tall panel. Kind of instructs you, instructs you on uh, what to choose from because our patterns are fully loaded. And a lot of times, if you choose one option, you don't need the other thing. So it's all there for you, all the information. Um, so you have your ruffles. So you have uh, this is your gathered skirt, and these are your gathered skirt ruffles. This is two through six ruffles, this is seven through 16. For the gathered skirt then you have your circle skirt and then your circle skirt ruffle pieces and I didn't layer these on top of each other because I did want the gathered skirt information to stay over here and then the circle skirt just to keep it easy to navigate like when you're choosing your bodice stuff and if you're choosing the bow then you come over here and choose this if you're doing the full back you don't need any of this I just kind of wanted to keep everything in its own special area um, just to keep it organized. And then of course your sleeve options are right here. Uh, I didn't want it so far apart that you have to scroll really far to get to anything either. So um, I hope that's something that you guys really like. My favorite, favorite feature um, is the black background. This is awesome. So you turn this on and you'll notice this big text up here. If you're using this layer, you do need to turn off the keep on and cutting chart layers right over here. So let's turn those off. And that is just to get uh, all your text um, bold because this layer is um, literally layered on top of that. So it dulls it. You can see the difference there. So that is exciting. Now you have this bright, beautiful yellow font. Uh, it will just pop on this black background when you're projecting it. This is great for certain colors of fabrics when you're projecting. Um, it won't work on all. And same thing with the white. That's why I wanted you guys to have the option of a white or a black background. Whichever one suits your needs uh, and the fabric you choose. So there is my favorite option on there. And just so you guys know, that takes a long time to do, but it's worth it, and I will continue doing it on all of the future patterns. So let's turn these back on, and we're back to our regular file. We also have a one inch grid for our imperial users, and then we also have a five centimeter grid for our metric users. So we have a little bit of everything for everyone, whether you want it on the fold or unfolded. We have big bold lines, we have the big text, uh, try to organize it um, as neatly as I can without getting outrageous with the artboard size. You still have your cutting chart for those that still want to just use their ruler and their cutter and just get after it. Um, 
whatever you want. I hope that this uh, new projector file offers it for you. Please let me know what you think on it in the comments.